This is a HeadGum Original. Right? Let's start with the energy really fucking high. Let's keep totally, that going totally, for the whole episode. Totally, totally. Let's do it. Really? Yeah. This is going to be the hangriest episode of the HeadGum Podcast in history. We all yeah. have not eaten today. Is that fair to say? I yes. forgot to complete the group order the lunch. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, where are the salads? That's why we have a bevy of snacks. In the room. We're getting a peek into the New York office, the the, the trials, tribulations, mishappenings, etc. Um, does this happen often? Is that fair to say? No, because I'm not put in charge of the lunch order often. <laughs> Who normally does it? Is it? Tell Marika me it's not Narissa. Too. It's usually Marika. It's not. Yeah, it's usually me, I think. Or so, you've been doing it or a me. lot recently. There's, honestly, it's pretty political. Let's, let's <laughs> move away from this topic. <laughs> No, let's actually, He's that's the right. time to He's dive in when it's political. <laughs> what, what are, what's the gossip? Like, what's, who gets mad at whomst when Marika places the order? What, what are her normal follies and faults? I don't do anything wrong placing the order. It's just really political, the chosen restaurant. Okay, and what do you guys normally want, Dig? No. No, they don't. I would eat Dig. <laughs> I like Dig. I would eat Dig all the time. Tacomba? Tacombi? No, we haven't ordered Tacombi. Ever. So that could be fun. Not really? to the office. They have good tacos. I used, they have I used to do tacos. that in Williamsburg at the Williamsburg office. I used to get that. Well, there is one near Union Square, we should say. Yeah. It's near the Gramercy, I think, because I got to Combe right before our show there two years ago, which I want to mm. emphasize two years ago. Why didn't we do a show mm. last year? Why haven't we done this one this year? <clears throat> Let me take that again. Why didn't we do one last year? <laughs> Why didn't we do one this year? This is a question for Joel for some reason. We're working on it. Are we? Joel's running code on it. Yeah. There's no way. It's going to be an AI event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you don't actually even need to fly here, Jeff. Yeah. We're working on generating <laughs> a, a virtual clone of really every podcast host, not just you. In perpetuity or? Uh, yeah. Will I still get paid? <laughs> Royalties. Are they good? Pennies, pennies on the dollar. Really. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. At least they wouldn't have to show up for anything. Um, yeah. No, that weekend where we did the live show, Emma and Joel, were you guys working here yet? No. Mm -mm. It was such a good time. It was like the best weekend of my life. I think Marika had a bad time because we did it on her birthday. Yeah, it was on my birthday. Um, so that was rough. Yeah. Didn't, didn't make the choice of, I didn't get to make the choice of the week. Of the show that I was uh, planning. But. Did you feel celebrated? Um, in a way. People, a lot I of people like ate answer. the cookies I, that were brought for me. Were brought for, for you. I yeah, brought those for you. Yeah, I said a lot of people ate them. And you wanted, oh, you wanted the whole box? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I want the whole box, but I like didn't really get a chance to eat them. I was You didn't even like, have one? I had one, but it was like a box of 12 cookies. But how many cookies did you really want? We're starting to understand how Marika gets around her birthday, her anniversary. <laughs> You're a diva. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I should have been able to at least have like two of them. Two, that's what I was going to say, a sample yeah. size yeah. especially, because <laughs> these were from, I, oh, let me, I'm going like to look it up on Google Maps. I forget where they were from. The place was bizarre, très bizarre. Um, was it the the one in Williamsburg? Yeah, but I feel like there's yeah. a couple in Williamsburg. It was the one on Wythe, I think. I know where you're talking about. I just don't remember the name. It's next to Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> By the oh, way, it matters. Chip. Chip it City. It matters. <laughs> Chip oh, City, Chip yeah. City. Yeah, and I also love Chip City. But this I've year, it's got to be Crumble. Crumble sucks. Do you guys man. listen to Blonde Shell? No. Never heard of that. Forget it. Uh, she's an old buddy of mine from college, and she has this song called oh, really? "Kiss City." Yeah. Okay, that was. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that wasn't, meant that to be wasn't a commensurate <laughs> reaction. That wasn't fair to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Marika, <laughs> we are lot. looking, we should say, at the weekend of October. It's not even a weekend, but we are looking to do a show on Monday, October 16th. Um, so the day after M- Marty's wedding. birthday. Oh, two <laughs> days after. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even realize that Marty <laughs> Amir's wedding is on Marty's birthday. I thought Marty's birthday was the 14th. Really? <laughs> I might have been calendar. wishing him well wrong. A day late? Yeah. yeah. Let me see. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. He has a Porsche, right? It's, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> he sold it. Um, that's fair. He didn't fit in it. <laughs> Marty, like, true, like true. the company got some funding. Marty started being, like, a big spender. He bought a vintage Porsche, like, I think in 1969. And then he pulled up one day to the office. I was like, that's such a cool car. And he was like, yeah, my head hits the roof. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, he, out- he outgrew it. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, too big for his britches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Emma, are you a Kai? <laughs> are you a, a Saibel? Are you a car Sorry, guy? No, I'm not a car guy. Joel, you I think being a car them. guy is like so lame. <laughs> How so? <laughs> like, it's not a hobby to buy expensive things. <laughs> 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 what do you, what constitutes a hobby? Uh, because I th- it needs. Go ahead. I don't. I mean, I don't. I'm not a car guy either. But just Are to play devil's guy? advocate, yeah. yes. <laughs> but that this argument doesn't even lean towards that. For car guys, I feel. I feel like their whole thing is like getting together and just driving. Is that not a hobby? That's uh, a hobby, but I don't, I don't think getting, it's that cool. A thing that car getting guys together do? to do something entirely solitary is like a very kind of masculine. <laughs> 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 that's that's true. I was just talking to Joel, saying that I met somebody who went to his high school, and I went out with like a, a vague new friend and his friends last weekend, and I was a little nervous. I was like, I don't know wh- what your friends are like, and then they were all like sensitive boys. And we actually got into shit. We actually got into it. We talked about our family dynamics and like how our, you know, childhood shaped our nowadays. And um, that's something rare. Medium rare, maybe. Respond fast. Great. Don't like that stare at me in stunned great. silence. Marika looks like devastated by the idea of me having an emotionally intelligent conversation with her. Medium no, rare kind of means like it happens the perfect amount. No. <laughs> 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 that's true. That's true. Um, <laughs> Marika, both hands on. Both of them on. My headphones Bond of the week. back on for that. Susan Sarandon is my pick. Let's just get through this. Emma? That's fun. Oh, that's a good one. Start with Joel. I don't know. Gata Joel? from Dave. All right. Making my way through every cast member. Marika? Ian McShane. Oh, the... um. The hot French girl who's in Passages. Passages, oh, what's that? Passages is the last great. movie that I saw. Did you, when did you see it? <sighs> I saw it last week. Okay, I saw Why? it. I saw it like two days ago. Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. It's so good. The it was great to for the, my entire theater to turn on the main character at the same time. Yeah, the, yeah, totally delightful. Um, yeah, she's mine. Adele, something or other. I don't know her name. Nice. Um, that's that segment. We did it. Um, we don't do it every week, but I'm trying to do it as much as we can every week so that it's like a runner. I have a point about why, male hobbies. Why are you explaining this now? <laughs> <laughs> male hobbies, yeah. I think every man should have like one hobby that no one else in their life understands. What would yours be? What's yours? Yeah. I think I'm still searching, but like my friend found a great one where. He has like a storage unit upstate, which is also kind of where he like motorcycles. Okay, so he's a murderer. So that's cars. That's the same thing with different amounts <laughs> no, of wheels. No, because <laughs> the thing that he does is he just like he's just like, oh, I gotta like check out like some stuff at my storage unit. And you're like, what? And he's just like gone for like 36 hours from the city. Yeah, he's a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I was going second family. Um, <laughs> I went I went, that's where he stores his bodies. I just think it's cool that like he disappears and like no one knows what he's <laughs> doing. Everything we've listed is arguably yeah. a hobby. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's true. worse than car guy hobby. Ing, 
you think it's cool that he disappears off the face of the earth for 36 hours? Like, there's always not- a, a hobby. If, <laughs> well, I guess you could have a solitary hobby. That's like gone girling as yeah. a hobby. Yeah, I've never seen that, but that sounds like Me a good neither. hobby. I do collect watches. This is a this is actually a swatch that I just got in the mail this morning. Cool. So it's actually kind of watch. Cool. That's the name. You should of the get brand. the you should mm. get the James Bond swatch series. So I don't know if you can see this on the zoom, but the it shows the date, the day of the yes. week. So so this isn't cool or impressive. To yeah, me. that's fine that it isn't to you, but you just said that you think it's cool <laughs> when men have hobbies that other people yeah. don't understand. Yeah, uh, that's true, you. but this isn't a hobby. This is buying shit. Yeah, no, it's collecting. Collecting's not a hobby. Collecting like all quarters from 50 states is That's cool. the same thing. <laughs> this is old. This is from the 70s. All right, anyway, all right. um, I just joined a watch collecting group in Los Angeles, and I'm going to the first one tomorrow, the first event. I wonder if you guys will talk about your feelings. I'm really excited to hear about the people that were at that. I'm really worried about the people that are at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sh- I'm like, I'm really like, like I said, I'm trying to say yes to more shit right now. And I am fearful, avoidant, <laughs> that these people will avoid me and vice versa. Right. I'm there's gonna, a chance that yeah. they'll actually be more similar to you than you could ever possibly imagine. <sighs> That's almost worst case scenario. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, Marika, you you have a lot of hobbies. I, I fast. feel like there's respond I feel, fast. I feel like they're the normal like definition of a hobby. It's like going to the movies. Like I don't know. Do you not feel like that? Like it's not exciting. <laughs> it's just like a thing that you do. I you've seen every Broadway show. It seems like I think that's novel. I think, I think yeah, I would, I would say that that is my hobby. But then when I tell people that it's my hobby, they're like, "That's crazy," and not a hobby. I don't know. What so. is this like weird like fucking big brothering of what's a hobby and what's not? I don't know. It's sort of a hobby. <laughs> that's your thing that no one else understands. <laughs> I just want to make fe- people feel bad about the shit that they do on the side. That makes yeah. them feel good. <laughs> <laughs> on the side. Emma, I mean, hobbies? I, oh, okay, Marika, sure. I was going to say, I mean, I wish I like played a sport or like did an activity that was like more of a thing or like did crafting. That's like a hobby. It's entirely in your hands. You can take up a, a sport or a craft. What craft okay. would you do? What sport I'll would you do? I'll teach you how to knit. We could knit together. I, w- I don't know how to knit. I would love to learn how to knit. I know how to crochet. Mm. Uh, my, I, I really want to m- make rugs. That's what I want to oh, do. You talk it's, about that a lot. I do talk <laughs> yeah, about it a lot. You should get into yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, you're always talking about that. At this point, just do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why we can't fucking order lunch. Marika's just talking about making rugs. <laughs> <laughs> Marika's browsing looms. <laughs> Emma, what are your hobbies or lack thereof? Mm, my hobbies are stuff that like with any skill would be more than a hobby. <laughs> like writing poetry or movies or whatever. <laughs> that is that is the thing. I feel like I want to make rugs partially so I could like sell them for a lot of money. Rugs? You're are a capitalist chick. <laughs> <laughs> Have an art form. But it's that like you what enjoy. am I gonna do with like if what am I gonna do with like ten rugs? You know? Like if I just keep making rugs. You could sell them, but for a lot right. of money is the part of the sentence that I have an issue with. Or you gift them to your friends. I'd I love them to your friends. Friends. I've been looking yeah. for a rug a for months. Gift. It would be a great gift, but it'd be like a like rugs are like six hundred dollars totally. plus. Like I'm giving you a six hundred dollar handmade item. No, sell I mean, them the at I... cost, but not <laughs> just don't just don't be like Nordic at cost, knots. At cost is crazy. I made a lot of so I give a lot of like knitwear as gifts and I made a bunch of like baby onesies over the pandemic and it was like we like two hundred dollars in materials and then probably like two thousand dollars in my time so I <laughs> that, meant, but so that's like, at yeah. cost it has to be inclusive of labor is what I meant so just but two hundred dollars is still an insane amount of money no 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 yeah. it would be the twenty two hundred <laughs> oh, okay, that's more reasonable. I see yeah. what you're saying now. For a ba- one baby onesie. For one baby onesie. Yeah, yeah. However much the rug costs that you gift me, 
inclusive of labor, I will spend that amount of dollars on Chip City chips to give to you on your birthday. What? Just give me cash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm again also starting to see what Marika wants for her birthday. <laughs> Seems like cash in an envelope. Uh, it's um, truly all I ever want. And let me tell you, hard thing to ask my parents for. They do not want to do that. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> I like that too. But no one's asking for it. Um, Emma, can you make those onesies in any size? <laughs> yeah, I can make a Jeff size onesie if that's what you're All right. right. I'm a 44 regular. I don't know if that is of taken what? in suit size <laughs> or. <do> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like no, like twenty two to twenty three inches across the chest, and then just like you know, I don't need that much room in the grundle. <laughs> For now, <Bird. laughs> uh, Marika. Yeah, you're shifting in your seat. It's making everyone yeah. else uncomfortable by proxy. <laughs> I mean, you have to point it out, and we probably could have gotten past it. I well, just wanted to, like, yeah. I was trying to take off my shoes so I could sit cross-legged. Emma inspired me. And, and I'm worried about Joel and Emma's comfort level really with good. you not having shoes on in the fucking studio. Emma I already have shoes don't have on. shoes on in the studio. Okay. Joel? maybe you I'm not wearing me. underwear. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. um, what are you guys most excited about in life right now? I am... Uh, stressed because i'm flying to red rocks tomorrow to see me and my friend have no plan but we're gonna see mount joy i haven't done laundry in weeks <laughs> but it should go well are you okay yeah <laughs> no he's he's, not. <laughs> um, he's floundering marika what are you most excited about um i'm excited for you to come to new york yeah i am coming to new york august Jeff, 28th i'm sad i'm not gonna be here Nobody's going to be there. Oh, do you want to come to uh, Bruce Springsteen with me and my dad? <laughs> All of my friends hell? are going to that on the 30th? No, on like September 3rd or 2nd or something. Never mind. The su- it's a Sunday. Um, if it wasn't with your dad, I would go. I feel like you should have father-son time. We have an extra ticket. It would be sort of medium rare you really for three of me us spend some time. <laughs> I'm not comfortable around fathers. So, huh. we don't have to Just get into like that. like a rule. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that sounds really fun. I actually did almost get tickets to see Springsteen in LA. And I'm, I still might. So, I might save myself for that slash marriage. I'll pencil you in. Um, Emma? Um, it's eating Gushers, bad tape. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I am excited the week that I won't be here and that you will be here, I'm going to be with my sisters and my cousins all on a trip. In coastal Maine or? Um, Black Island. I Where was in that? coastal Maine recently. It's off of Rhode Island. That's cool. Newport? No. <laughs> okay. Don't just like list places in the Northeast. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you're going south from here because you'd have to get down to South Carolina for there to be anywhere of worth. I'm not um, going south. Right. Fort or otherwise. North Carolina is pretty good. <laughs> nice. What's that, Marika? <laughs> I said North Carolina is pretty good. Really? Asheville? Or... Sure. Sure? I sure. heard the most tragic, horrendous story, so bad I can't even say it on the podcast, that took place in North Carolina recently. We really need to take a break. I'm so oh. sorry. <laughs> yeah. Guys, wait. You hear that sound? That's the sound of a sale that you're missing out on because you're not selling on Shopify. And what does it sound like with Shopify? (gasps) Ah, much better. Start selling with Shopify today. Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide. So whether you're a garage entrepreneur or IPO ready, Shopify is the only tool you need to start, run, and grow your business without the struggle. Shopify puts you in control of every sales channel. So whether you're selling satin sheets from Shopify's in-person POS system or offering organic olive oil on Shopify's all-in-one e-commerce platform, you're covered. And once you've reached your audience, Shopify has the internet's best converting checkout to help you turn them from browsers to buyers. Now, I've never sold with Shopify, but I have bought from a lot of Shopify stores, especially on the e-commerce side. And I have to say that that last point is absolutely correct. I mean, sometimes when I'm on 
on the fence about whether or not I want to buy something. You know, if it's it's a, a native checkout in someone's own website, I'm like, I don't know if I want to create an account and enter all my information. But if it's a Shopify store, it auto fills and it's just, it, you know, sometimes that's all you need to get the sale. Plus, Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way. You can't go wrong. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash podcast one, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash podcast one to take your business to the next level today. Again, that's shopify.com slash podcast one. Let's hear that sound again. Thanks, Shopify. And we're back. Uh, welcome to, we haven't done an actual like game segment in a minute. And but, we're snack. Uh, wh- what's that? He said, and we're snack. Oh. So he got a pretzel out of the container. Sorry, I just, yeah. <laughs> Another yeah. Word. Not to like derail everything, but. Uh, we've played this game before. Deja vu. (laughs) All over again. Can I finish? Go on. (laughs) Uh, this is Fictionary. This was, uh, suggested by somebody in the YouTube comments to play this again. I had forgotten we'd done it. Um, and I don't know their name. So they won't get any credit. But uh, this is Fictionary. This is a Victorian era parlor game where everyone guesses the definition of an obscure word in the parlor. So do we need to go to the parlor? Let's just treat this as the parlor. Okay, I love Um, that. Do you guys get the rules of the game? I'm going to say an obscure word and then we all take guesses at, uh, you know, what it means. And... uh, Let's raise the stakes a little bit. Um, if you guys get kind of near the the right word, and, and you, I'm not going to do the Venmo thing. I'm not, not going to do the cash. We haven't done that in like a year. It's played out. I will answer one very personal question about myself. People always say, oh, Jeff can dish it out, but he can't take it. You can ask me anything if you're close enough to the definition, but I'm only comfortable doing this because you're not going to get any of these. Is that fair? Yeah. That's fair. All right, Naskin, N-A, what's that? No, I was going to ask with an N or an M. N-A-S-K-I-N. It's like napkin, but with an S. That is when, like, new skin grows over a scab. (laughs) (laughs) So you think it's like a portmanteau of, like, nasty skin? (laughs) I was thinking nascent. And skin. Oh, very good. Very yeah. good. Um, that is a colloquial colloquialism meaning like I'm not asking that. <laughs> <laughs> so so Car- sorry, can you use that in a sentence? I'm not asking that. Oh That's good. <laughs> okay, so it's That's yeah, really good. It's a yeah. conjunction. Yeah. Mm, I think Naskin is when you're like perturbing someone, like annoying. Okay. Um, I really like Marika's. Yeah, I really I will do too. start using it. Marika's is awesome. <laughs> wow, thank you. Naskin means you're all wrong. <laughs> Prison. Prison? Yeah, it's just a different word for a prison. What's the origin? Uh, I wasn't prepared for you to ask that. <laughs> I'm Googling it now. <laughs> I really wish you were Naskin, that. (laughs) Very good. Um, It looks like it is not showing up on Google. (laughs) It's not a real word. (laughs) It really is not. Tell Google to get in the parlor. 
<laughs> Google's lacking in the parlor. I, I we're okay. Dictionary.com. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, it's it's not showing origin. Right. Is I think it not it's English. It, not an English word. No, I'm pre- it is. Um, I think it must just be like so old that there's not a lot of literature on it. <laughs> um, moving on. Jobbery. J O B B E R Y. Also, everyone feel free to play along at home and write your definitions of these words in the comments of the YouTube one video. One at a time. Without. One at a time <laughs> as you're watching this. Yeah. <laughs> so we can, and then maybe next time we play this or next week we'll read those on the pod. Maybe. Maybe. That might not be a good idea. Yeah, I just thought of it now. Upset. Jobbery. J O B B E R Y. I think it's like joyful. Playful. I think it's a location similar to like a haberdashery, but where they give out jobs, like a like a temp agency, but old timey. Like you yeah. go in or like, I need a job. And they're like, here you go. Like a depression era person standing out of a factory and like handing like, like a newsy slips to yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. so good at this game. <laughs> I was like, you have the most humorless thing. <laughs> Wait, what is a haberdash? It's a place where they sell hats. Is a haberdash a hat? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Jeff, you feel, it feels like you would know. Uh, I take offense to that. Uh, a jobbery is like that feeling when something's gone a little too soon. <laughs> Wow. Whoa. <laughs> All wrong. It's the <laughs> conduct of public business for private gain. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you think any of those Marika's three were the close? Closest. What did you think was the closest. closest? You said it was a haberdashery. I said it was. I said it was a business. S- a business fine. where you get jobs. Fine, fine. Hit him, not, not hats. Ask I, me I, anything. I don't, I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> I you don't want to know anything about me. I don't take joy in asking extremely personal questions for, about people. And see, I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to phone a friend or phone a fiend? Um, sure. Joel, do you want to ask? A personal question. Uh, when did you last feel my definition of jobbery? <laughs> and I already forgot your <laughs> definition. Can you remind me? <laughs> when something's gone a, just a little bit too soon. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sure. See, my next, instinct is to make word. a joke because I want to like... Make it good for the podcast, but that's not what I said I would do. Um, my friend Corey, who was on the show on the All About Dairy, or some, there's something about dairy. Oh, yeah, that's the guy who, like, threatened me or something? Yeah. Yeah, he's oh, he's, he is in New York, by the way, and he is going to beat the shit out of you. He's been searching <laughs> for you. Um, no, he moved to New... I, I went to Kentucky for a job, and then when I was there, he moved to New York. And when I got back, and I was just like, where the hell is Corey? And that made me sad. Also, I was supposed to get back the day of his going away party. And then they extended me, and so I didn't even get to say goodbye. Mm. It's kind of a flex, but I'm sorry to hear that. (laughs) (laughs) The flex is that I have no friends in L.A. (laughs) But the the jobbery people in Kentucky fucking love you. Bye, Jeff. I wonder what he ordered. I mean, if he can get food in the podcast, so can we. True. We could if you guys want it. It is crazy here. looking chair. I like it. I, I do. T- I, like it. I do too. What do you think about like outlets that are like really high up? I don't oh. need that. I don't like it. Yeah. Sorry. How did the delivery? What'd you get? I got a new AC unit because the old one broke and it's fucking scorching here. <laughs> Moving on. Trover. T R O V E R. This one's stumping you guys? It's Trover. Can you give us what type? 
can you give us if it's like a noun or an adjective or it or? is it's a great question it's a noun i, I think almost so yep. stressed by that question because i'm like i'm gonna have to remember what a noun and an adjective well, is I, I, couldn't think of, <laughs> I couldn't think of what those are like what that grouping of things is called it's like, a person place or a thing no 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 like what like a noun adjective verb etc <laughs> like what those are oh um part of speech thank you <laughs> trover's a noun I think a terrestrial rover like the one sent to mars interesting i think it's like low lying shrubs in a forest on a hill that's really good okay we made love on the trover yeah on the shrubs <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> um trover I Trover. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a a kind of trophy. Okay. Um, it's actually legal action brought to recover goods from the lo- wrongful owner. Yeg. <laughs> <laughs> Yielding like the same pleasure as having egg wait, with you're... a Y. <laughs> <laughs> the egg. Why? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeg. This is a hard one, honestly. Yeg! You do the part of speech? Noun! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's a hobby that was popular in 1850s Germany. Interesting. Wherein you put an <laughs> egg on a spoon and then bike with it in your mouth. Okay. Okay. What, I think it's sorry. Oh, what time ahead. you said? Eighteen fifties. Yeah. Obviously. Okay. Marika. I think it is a type of singing that's very guttural and often <laughs> with a very phlegmy um, situation in your yeah. throat. Emma. I think it's like some sort of club. Like- okay. Honestly, I'm gonna give it to Joel. It's a burglar of safes, but it first appeared in print. In Europe in 1873. So I'll give it to you for the timing of it all. And okay. I do think that safe cracking is kind of a hobby. That is a hobby. Yeah. Have at it. I don't, I don't want to ask you any more personal <laughs> questions. So these stakes aren't high enough. You guys don't want to get the definition right because nobody wants to know anything about me. You don't want to share. You're so explicit about not wanting to share I just on the shared. Podcast. I just shared a very, a, a very earnest thing. Yeah, but it wasn't like... Salacious. It, like, interesting. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't interesting. All right. So what would raise the stakes? What would you want the prize to be for being close? I think you should have to make me a rug. <laughs> There's that's so mismatched. <laughs> I mean, I I would have to learn a new trade. <laughs> you would improve yourself. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you I think you should make him like a t-shirt. I no, these are way too these are <laughs> Jeff, really honestly, in a barn. Honestly, I think Jeff, I think you could make like homemade t-shirts a thing for you. Yeah. Maybe. Here's the like, thing. Like the ones where you just write in a black Sharpie on a white t-shirt, like you could bring those back. Mm-hmm. Maybe. That's not good for this episode. <laughs> I'm trying to put together a good episode and something oral. Sure. Um, Gusly. Um, all, right, all right. No, sing me oh. your favorite spring scene song say, for 15 oh, seconds. Please, no. I was going <laughs> to say sing a song, though. Ever do freeze out. <laughs> um, and gu- actually, actually, no, this is what it is. Uh, every time someone gets one right, yeah. you need to do that same task. Okay. And when we collectively get five right, you have to go to spring scene with me and my dad. <laughs> 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 Listen, there's six more, so you have to get three, three, for six. three out of six. Okay. And by the way, I'm the judge, so I'm just not going to give you three. <laughs> <laughs> Guzzly. G-U-S-L-I. It's an app where they deliver gas to you. 
<laughs> Gusly just IPO'd. <laughs> um, I think it's a descriptor of like when you have really um, like ruffly appendages on like a dress or outfit. Okay. Emma? It's like a very like overwhelming bosom. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think it is. Before there were mommy milkers, there was guzzly. <laughs> the correct yeah. a- a- definition is actually Russian zither. Oh, that's cool. What's zither? Wait, what's it's that? a musical instrument. Zither. Okay, don't yell at me. <laughs> it's no, a that's the in- next word. It's a musical instrument. Fuck. Yeah, that's one oh. for. So I have to sing Wait, another what? Springsteen song? Uh, no, sing a Sondheim song that's not What Would You Do on a Saturday Night. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> did Sondheim do, he didn't, no, that's Andrew Lloyd Webber. What else uh, sing, did Sondheim do? Sing Sorry sing a, Grateful. Sing, sing, Devastated. Oh yeah, oh my God. Sing, sing what? A, Best. Sorry, sorry Grateful. <laughs> sing um, an Andrew Lloyd Webber song then. Memory all alone in the dark. <laughs> da, 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 da. I, those Just weren't the right great. words. You were close, Sish. Whatever. I did think you started with mammary, though. Ew. Which you did think what? I didn't like. I said I thought you started with mammary instead of memory, and I, I do like always that. do that. Hmm. Start with the memories. I well in my head when I sing that song sometimes, which kind of <laughs> happens often. It's memories because I'm thinking of never mind. Uh, all right, you're thinking Zach of Guzzlies. I'm thinking of Guzzlies. Exactly right. <laughs> Vacky. Vacky. Spelling Sticky. or V A C K Y. It's like when someone doesn't pay their taxes. <laughs> oh no, he's left. <laughs> Marika. Um I think it's when a business doesn't pay their taxes and have to evacuate the building. Emma? Sticky. Sticky. Um both Joel and Marika were almost exactly right. It's just an evacuee. <laughs> Which is such, like, an irresponsible way of referring to someone who had to flee a life-threatening yeah. situation. How oh, they back you. <laughs> <laughs> it's also too close to, like, vacay. <laughs> There's a bunch of vacies trying to vacay. Uh, all right. Another song I have to sing, I guess. Playboy Cardi song. I don't know any of his songs. A Britney Spears song. Um, Sing Lucky. Stronger than yesterday. My way. I love that song. Yeah, Jark! J A R K. Let's this fucking segment speed is this going up. On so Let's speed long. it up. It's because you guys are taking pregnant pauses. It's supposed to be like first thought, best thought. Oh, it's, Jork! It's a fucking Doily. jumpy shark. <laughs> <laughs> you say Jimmy Shark? <laughs> like shark sprinkles? <laughs> I said a jumpy shark, like a shark that jumps out of the ocean like a dolphin. All right. Jark. It's like when a dog's teeth get really overgrown and scary. Okay. <laughs> it's like a joke, but if you're Australian and you don't know how to talk, Jarks. right? That's pretty good. Sar- no, it's a seal or insignia on a counterfeit document. Whoa. Gid. G-I-D. Gid. Um, get, laugh. but if you're from the South. What'd you say? I said laugh. Okay. I said like get, like a command like get, but if you're from the South. To move swiftly, verb. <laughs> it's brain disease. It's a brain disease <laughs> suffered by sheep. Aww. Ode. Like, O-D. 
Um, let's go with a short way of saying odometer. Uh, a tornado. A stand-up guy. It's actually a mild oath. <laughs> so it's something you're not sure if you're going to keep? Yeah, I'm like, why? there shouldn't be a word for that. And if there is going to be a word for that, why is it owed? <laughs> Short and sweet, in and out. That was all we had. Um, do you guys have any other points to make? Anything else you want to say? We can wax for a bit and then go to plugs, or we can go to plugs and see what happens. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't have any closing thoughts. I can't believe you thought zither was a weird word. I don't I think if you, if you weren't on this episode, no one would have known what that was. I believe. I believe this. That's what he says in Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good, right? It was good. I, <laughs> if I want to get Marika, I just need to reference more movies. No, it was honestly like the fact that Emma referenced something in Oppenheimer after seeing it with us, after not wanting to see it with us because she didn't know what it was. It was the whole backstory of it. Got it. So I have no chance. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, It was a long runway up to making money go (laughs) laugh. All right, plugs. What do you guys have going on? Let's fucking let's get let's get out of here. Joel. Uh text me in the next twenty four hours what I should do in Denver for a night. Do you want to share your number? This episode isn't going up for weeks. (laughs) <laughs> right. Um you can Great. here's my number anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just text me, honestly. Uh mm, follow me on Instagram, Joelman Dunoff, and that is your ode. Nice. I don't think you use that word correctly, but you know. <laughs> uh follow me. At Marie Kaylon on Twitter slash X, Instagram, Threads, Blue Sky, Letterboxd, <laughs> TikTok. Relax, relax, <laughs> man. <laughs> Fucking follow me, dude. Um, that's it. Listen Emma? to the pit wall. Um, follow me at Emma Rose Foley on Instagram. At Jeffrey James on Instagram. And let's start getting some buzz about uh, HeadGum Podcast live show going on. Online. Let's start sending some uh, some emails to <laughs> dot com to <laughs> dot com and uh, do start demanding it. Right? We're uh, <laughs> yeah, looking at the New York area. Some really scary emails. <laughs> yeah, let's start threatening yeah. people's lives until it happens. That's yeah, maybe that's the not... only way we'll get it. Push it across the finish line. And um, yeah, looking forward. <laughs> All right. That's Dawes, folks. <laughs> Classic <Ed>. Ed. <laughs> was a HeadGum original.